the circuit. The noise here is just deafening. He is the number one here at Bidgosh, and uh, he's got a tall order to, against Mark Laram. Heat number 14, got him on the inside in red. Oh, he tried to jump the tapes, then he had to pull back. That's allowed Mark Laram to get a flyer, and Mark Laram picks it up, and Golov is in last place. But now round the outside in yellow goes Nicky Pedersen. Now Thomas Golov comes into second place. The Ram will now have to cut back and the Ram is last. Oh, they're all over the track. But out front, Nicky Pedersen steering clear of the mayhem. And Mark the Ram will have work to do here. An awful lot of work to do. Those riders are just so close there. Thomas Golov, unbelievable, still squeezing through gaps there that you never knew existed. But he's now reeling in Nicky Pedersen. Nicky's got his head down, going absolutely as fast as he can. He knows he's got Thomas Golov on his tail. Now Golov pulling on the inside, but just look again, Ryan. Look at that manoeuvre there from Golov. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, and he's lost it again as Pedersen goes through. I remember seeing this a couple of years ago. Thomas Golov is all over the track. And look at the finish here, because Thomas Golov, oh, almost into the fence. Round the back they go. Golov in red, Pedersen in yellow. What a race we've got here. Who's going to win it? Golov does in red, ahead of Pedersen in yellow. And Mark Moran is right at the back, but his task is not over tonight, because he will have to go again. But that is certainly the race of the night. Thomas Golov and Nicky Pedersen, I don't want to really say dicing with death, but they were dicing with just about everything here on this 348 metre track on which Thomas Golov holds the track record, but he won't have beaten that or over the surface. He must have gone metres more on every circuit. And Tony Ricards are quite happy to sit back, enjoy his cup of coffee and watch that action on the track. The poles.